Here we go then. It is match day. The weather is looking very, very good for football. I think it's pretty similar in Stockport, maybe a little bit more cloudy. But it's 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 a day where knots with injuries and um, illness have really got to get the players to step up. It really will be interesting. Stockport, something like 15 without loss. Haven't lost since December. But we know knots are a funny team. You know They, they won't turn up against teams like Wildstone or Yeovil. But then they might turn up in this game. Um, and in the past, we've had a reputation in this league for turn up in the big games. So um, I, I need to go and grab a drink um, before work and then I'll chat to you again in a minute. Um, tonight then, I'd like to see Knox go five at the back, I think. I don't think it's a defensive formation as people are making out. You know, we played it against Wrexham on Friday night and I thought we were dominant for a good 60 minutes of that game. We just didn't take our chances. I think we played really, really well. I think with the personnel we've got out, obviously Eli Sam still out. Um, not sure, Cameron obviously not there. Not 100% sure on Brindley, but I think to have Richardson back, which Bertrand said he trained really well in the past few days, He'd be massive at wing back. You know, if we're gonna go five at the back, add a bit more attacking intent with with Richardson. Kelly Evans has been fine, but he's also just played a lot of games in quick succession. So give him a little bit of a rest. Um, the left wing back position, I'll probably go Taylor, just purely because I want Chicks at that um, that like, left centre back spot. And then I think it gives us a bit more of a base to work on. I don't think we'll be left as open. Um, you know, Lacey and Wallace have been playing really, really well together lately. I know we've conceded sloppy goals, but Against Solon, I thought they defended pretty well. I thought they were two of the better players on the pitch, even though we can see the three, which is quite strange. And then again, the first goal against um, Wrexham is just a bit of luck. No, I think that's not from the midfield tracking back. So I think five at the back for me is what I'd like to see. It's obviously going to be tough, but I don't think we're going and be scared of them because if you're going into the game and you're already scared of Stockport, you've lost the game pretty much. You can't go with that mentality. And I hope I'm not wrong by the end of this video, but I hope Bertrand has put that into them. Just, just don't be scared. And don't let them play, because we let Stockport play a lot early on in that game last Tuesday. We let them play a lot in front of us, and they were making some really good runs, some great movement, and we couldn't really deal with it. So, you know, you hope with the players that are coming back that we could put in a, a, a good performance and, and try and get something from the game. Also, I'd like to see what would happen if we played Aaron Neman off um, Carl Wilton, because he worked pretty well with Kyra Mitchell, albeit not amazingly well, because Cairo didn't have the, the best game. But I would really like to see what Naman has to offer off the striker because you've got that little and large partnership, pace and power. So it should be a really interesting one. And um, yeah, I think it's a four, four o'clock pickup today from George. Honestly, that is one of the quickest turnarounds I've had from work ever. I even managed to get to shop beforehand. Um, George is going to be here any second um, to pick me up. Um, he is leading by an absolute mile in the away day. Um, away day drives is something like four or five, six this season. I'm only at two, so he's doing pretty well on that in that respect. I'll catch up when I get in the car, see what their thoughts are on the game. Very excited now, and as always, the optimism is rising when maybe it shouldn't do this much. Here we go. As I mentioned, drive number six or seven for this man this season. Maybe five. I've maybe given him too much credit. How are you feeling about this one? Confident, you know. I'm not on about the game. What about drive? Oh, easy drive. Easy drive. Yeah, Look yeah, at man. that. You know, if the next clip is just crashed. Still confident you know, about the game, though. Still confident about the game. Points, and we've got... Jake in the back, yeah, first drive was uh, of the season was Solil, Solil was. lovely drive that was, wasn't it? Thanks mate, appreciate it. Yeah, first lovely. and last, I reckon. <laughs> uh, final person to pick up is Will, and then um, we'll see you know, team news later on and uh, see how the game pans out. Final piece of the puzzle, it's Will, how are you feeling about the game? Uh, not good at all, to be honest with you. I've got my Mr Kipling, so I'm all good, but I reckon... That's not a product placement. I'll take a draw. Draw? Yeah, I'll take a draw. You're confident of a draw? Not confident of it, but I'll take it. Disgraceful. Mi mixed feelings in the car on the way there. Team news out then. We've just got to Stockport as well. Nice place really, but um, yeah, team news. Jaros in goal. Um, I'm happy about that. I think he needs a good run of games. You know, We can't keep dropping keepers and swapping and changing. It's disruptive. Uh, Richardson's back, which is, which is great for knots. And the midfield duo, Francis and Palmer. That is, is class in my opinion. Best midfield <coughs> that we have. So I'm feeling confident. Um, I might eat my words, but I am feeling confident. It's about to kick off then. Uh, just had a minute to pause in support of what's going on in Ukraine. <laughs> to be fair, very nice ground. I, I really like it. Yeah, first time we've been to Stockport, really nice. Better than some of the drops we've been to this season. Um, 
yeah, confident with the team. We've got a really important performance today. Good to have Palmer uh, playing, you know, good to have that back five, I think. It gives a bit more security, but it should be an interesting one and we'll check in throughout the game. Stockport, you know, it's in and around the box, falls to their play on the edge of the area. Jarrell scores off a great save. It's gone out for a corner, which they're about to take now. Out to the edge of the box, it's through. Great save again from Yaros. Back out. Save for Yaros. He's currently a training session for Stockport after 10 minutes. Yeah, far too easy for him. Yaros has been absolutely fantastic. Just saved a really uh, close range header, kept it 0 0. Not something so passive, so poor. It's like a boomerang. Comes straight back every single time. Not having got going, no support for Rubens, runs down the wing. Absolutely nothing so far. So we're very lucky not to be one down, if not two. Richardson has just missed that open goal. Uh, completely against the run of play. He's, he's, took, the, he's took it past the keeper. He's basically got an open goal and he's, he's dinked it over the bar. I cannot believe what I've just seen. It's good that we've had the chance, but how he hasn't put that away, I do not know. Richardson gets in behind. I can't tell from this angle. It looks like he should finish. He holds on to it, holds on to it. A couple of Stockport players come in and he wins as a corner. He's nowhere, nowhere near his guilt edge as the first opportunity. We're getting, we're getting at him though, we're getting at him. We've had three or four chances at him. It's, now, it's so a corner now for Noss. Into, yeah. into the box. No one attacking it. It's come to the edge. Let's have a shot for him. Cal plays it out. Noss. Okay, here's a decent ball in. Ooh, flash straight across. Looks like it's going to be a stop ball throw. Great chances. You know the pace in behind is working. Getting our money's worth tonight. It's end to end stuff. Shots on goal all the time. Yaros, another save, it's gone out for a corner. Edge of the area for Stockport. Taylor's headed it away. Back to the edge of the area. Not on the attack. Really open game, both sides looking like scoring now. 1 0 Stockport with Pay for his chance, obviously, as we have all season. Paddy Madden, absolutely unmarked. What's, what, that's what's going to happen when we miss a sitter. Miss two sitters. I mean, they've deserved the chance, they've created a lot. But when you miss chances, it just sums up the season. About five <laughs> minutes to half time. It's not more control in the game, really, now, after their goal. You know, not looking really sloppy in possession, but I think you've got to give some credit to Stockport. You know, they're top of the league for a reason. They're looking quality. The overrunning midfield, really. Francis seems to be, in particular, loose with the ball. Um, I think if we get into half time now, one then we'll be doing well. Joined by Will at half time. Hopefully, the guy in the tunnel stops uh, talking because it's been a bit of a struggle, hasn't it? Been a bit of a struggle. Bit of a struggle. First half, then. What do you make of that? And, and please talk about the Richardson miss. Uh, what? Both of them. The first one, let's go for the well, first one. Well, the first one, he's, he's done everything right, to be fair to it. Oh, Tano is back. He's done everything right, took it around the keeper, open goal, and he's literally blazed it over. I don't know why he just passed it into the goal, but yeah, I, I was going to say it is what it is, but it's not. He's got to score. Yeah, you, you, you turned to me, didn't you? You said at this point, you can't blame Birchnell. You can't blame Birchnell. Because we're one up at that point. No, you can't blame him. And then he's literally had the chance to do the exact same thing two minutes later and missed again. Well, but the keeper saved it or whatever the second time. It's not. You don't want him in that position, he's not a goal scorer, but I mean, I could have put that in, you could yeah. have put that in. And you're not a goal scorer either. I'm Definitely not. I missed six one on ones at the weekend. Exactly, there you go. A few minutes into the second half, not scoring the attack, you get a corner from it, stop ball, take it straight up the Everett for the end and get that second. It's 2 0 stop ball. You know, but we're, we're just looking slow on the ball, looking sloppy. Stockport the miles better side at the minute. Um, the mains come on, which I think this game will suit him because we can get him behind these and we can get at them. So I, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping we can level it up at this point. Coming up 70 minutes, it's poor from not stop whatever's where they want is. Um, no real attacking movement, players making the wrong decisions. Stockport passing it left to right, they're attacking again, and it's just a training ground session. No real chances. I mean, they're literally passing it on the edge of our 18 yard box. I could have recorded this clip 10 times, and it's the same thing. They're through again. Unbelievable save from Yaros, I think. I think that's another fantastic save. Man of the match for not from that, it's dark. Stockport 3, Mark Snell. Just a poor, poor performance. 
Yaros has really kept us in it. You know, he's been he's been man of the match and he's conceded three goals. So that says all you have to say, really. Um, you know, not fans <laughs> deflated as I've ever seen them. This is a, a real battering, the first real battering we've seen, I think, of this season. How wrong was I thinking that we'd come here and get three points? Into you know, just about to go into added time. Um, the game's been dead from an ops perspective for about oh, from from the second goal really. We're, we've not really created anything. Our one shot targets with Kyra Mitchell. Ball over the top now, and no one's there to pick it up. It's been a terrible performance. Yes, it's stopped, but yes, they're very good side. But realistically, we should be challenging at least more than this. I mean, it's been woeful ever since the, the second miss from Mitchell. It's been absolutely terrible. Finish, stop or three, not still, shambles. Shocking, Co I mean completely out of class. They were by far the better side. You can see why they're top of the league. Just in every way better than us. They pressed us from the get-go and they were pressing us right till the end of the game, you know, and we just couldn't deal with it. Um, it's the you know, benchmark, that's the benchmark, that's where we want it to be. If you'd have told me at this point of the season, you know, at the start of the season, if you said with 11, 12 games to go, we'd be scrapping for a playoff place outside the playoffs. To be honest, I'd have laughed at you, I'd have said we'd at least be top four. Not good enough. The players, where, where, where the stop water, fantastic. You know, they played really well, fair play to the fans were good. We just didn't turn up. We didn't want it, we were scared from the get-go. Yaros, 10 out of 10 performance for me, genuinely. As you can see, the three goals, could have been 10. But we've missed a chance to go one and up. Shocking. That, 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 that defined the game. That goal goes in, you know, Richardson puts that away, it's a completely different game.